Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in March of this year, I posted a video that um, one of the new features that Microsoft was testing in Edge Canary, um, which is a preview version of the Edge web browser, was a feature called Mouse Gestures. And in a nutshell, um, what Mouse Gestures is all about, it allows you to perform quick actions and access various features a lot faster in Microsoft Edge for desktop just using your mouse. Now, um, just to let you know that with the rollout and release of the latest stable version of Edge for desktop, version 114, which rolled out last week, and I actually did post on that, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description, it is now possible to enable mouse gestures in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. Now, this is not a default feature. It didn't roll out as a default feature uh, in Microsoft Edge and is very much still in preview, and we can enable it using a flag. But the flag isn't a normal flag as an experimental flag when you head and you head to your address bar and you enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. For this, we have to use a command line flag. So you won't get it in the experimental flags. We have to enable a command line flag and use a command line flag. And to do this, as many of you would know, we have to access a shortcut of the browser and then enter the flag into the actual target of the properties menu. Now, um, if you want to enable um, mouse gestures in the stable version, um, what I will do is I will leave this command line flag down below because this, this is quite a mouthful. And you can I'll leave that in the description for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference. So once you've copied and pasted that, head to a shortcut of Edge, be that on your desktop, in your start menu, or in my case, I have a shortcut on my taskbar. So just right click on that shortcut, click on properties, and here in the target, you will see .exe quotations. .exe quotations. What you need to do is delete everything that's before those quotation marks. Then leave a space and then enter that command line flag. But just take note, just double check that you have left a space um, between the quotation marks and the command line flag. Because if you don't leave that space, uh, this will not work. And then you click on apply, OK, and then you'll have to close Microsoft Edge. And then you'll have to reopen the stable version of Microsoft Edge. And by the way, this works in Edge version 114 or any later or newer version of the browser. So it'll work also in the preview versions. And now if we head to the settings menu, the main um, menu, and then head to settings, and navigate over to the appearance page. If we scroll down now, we'll see a new section has been added called mouse gesture, which is turned on and toggled on by default. And here we get configure mouse gesture. So if we click on that, we have a whole lot of different options available. And we get enable mouse gesture, show mouse track, and show action hint. Now I'm gonna leave this all at default. Um, just for the purpose of today's video. So once you've enabled that command line flag, um, you can now use your um, mouse gesture to perform various actions um, by moving the mouse while holding the right click button. So take note, you've got to hold the right click button for this to work on your mouse. And if you leave these at default, these settings, Edge will highlight your mouse track and show a hint, which will basically indicate what action the gesture will trigger. So here we have um, all our default actions. And here we have the gesture that you will have to do with your mouse. So as an example, I'm just going to leave this a default, but you can change this to a whole lot of different actions for each gesture. So just take note of that. And as far as I know, um, there's give or take um, 14 gestures. And then obviously for each of those 14 gestures, you have different options available that you can configure those actions to be applied using that gesture. Now I'm just going to leave this at default. And so as an example, yeah, I want to go left. So I want to go, um, it's going to, if I move my mouse left, it's going to go back to the previous page. So hold your, hold the right click mouse button in, move left. There we go. There's the actual, um, the mouse track and the hint. And if I let my right mouse button go, it goes back to the previous page. Now, if I want to go forward, then I'll just right click, move it that way. You see the, the actual hint and the, uh, the actual um, mouse track, let it go, and there we go. So you get the general idea. And if I want to move up, if, sorry, if I want to scroll up, then I can move my mouse up and it does the same. If I want to scroll down, right click, 
move the mouse down. You get the idea. So there's a whole lot of different um, there's a whole lot of different um, actions that you can perform um, using your mouse and um, just using those mouse gestures. So just letting you know that that is available now um, in the stable version of Microsoft Edge for Desktop version 114, which as mentioned is not a default feature and you have to use that command line flag as demonstrated, which as mentioned, I'll leave a link to down below if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.